Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are continuing our playthrough of Resident Evil Village Shadows of Rose. This, of course, the DLC for Resident Evil Village, where we step into the shoes of Rose Winters, Ethan's daughter, as she makes her way through the consciousness of the Mega Mycete in search of answers as to the fate of her father, and also, of course, trying to get rid of her superpowers born as a result of the Mutamycete inside her. She needs to acquire a crystal, which we found as we made our way through Castle Dimitrescu, and apparently once she acquires this crystal, it will rid her of her powers, which is what she desires so she can sort of fit into normal society. We also ran into the Duke once again, who seems to be in a more twisted form inside this world, and he has control of these weird mold people who he refers to as his hounds, including one in particular which is like an executioner style enemy who stalks us through the castle. We actually need to collect three masks currently in order to get the crystal and escape the castle, and as of last episode we had acquired two of them. So we're going to continue straight where we left off guys and dive back into the Shadows of Rose DLC and see where the story goes next. Okay, so this is where we left off overlooking the village, which seems to be like a mirage or something. As you can see, it's all like rippling because we're meant to be inside the consciousness of the Mega Mycete. And this is exactly where we were in the last episode. So let's continue. I'm going to go this way. It looks like we can climb over here. We can indeed. Oh, we've got a herb as well. Nice. Now, can we get through this door, I wonder? There's also something over here. Look. So we can destroy this by the look of it. There we go. Take our reward, which is some chem fluid. Good to have. Let's head through the door. Got a note. Okay, shotgun shells, gunpowder plus rusted scrap. Pipe bombs, gunpowder plus rusted scrap plus herbs. I saw a shotgun in the dining room. These should help me escape. Yeah, we need to get that shotgun. Because uh, I still don't know how we acquire that. We need a key, I think, for the cabinet it's in. Right, anything else in here? We need to try and find a picture as well. We're missing a picture for... The picture frame puzzle so we need to try and discover that oh look we've just looped around i think we're back in the corridor now oh it's here look yeah look the snake painting so we've got the final predator for the predator versus prey puzzle now oh, here we go a door unlock nice so we made it to the other side of all this kind of goop we'll say goodbye to the roses who are all trapped in there they met a unfortunate fate, and we're going to try and avoid meeting such a fate ourselves. Persistent little rabbit, aren't you? Yes. But you cannot simply do as you please. The Duke wants us. I can do what I like, Duke. You can't interfere. Alright, so we're going to go back. Oh no, look, we've got people emerging now. Well, they're not people, are they? Oh god, is it the Executioner? I think it is. I think he's returned. Okay, we're going back. We're going back this way, guys. Run, 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 run. Go. I think we made it. We made it. We made it. We also need another key for this to get the shotgun, but we don't have that key currently. Maybe we get that key from completing the painting puzzle though upstairs. It's always a possibility, right? We can also put our second mask into here now. Let's have a look. Yeah, look at that. So now... We just need to get the gold mask, and then this puzzle is completed, and we're able to get the crystal, which is over there. So let's go and complete the picture puzzle first, which is upstairs. Okay, we made it back to the room. Now, I think I've set this up right, so we've got wolf opposite sheep. Then we're going to put snake opposite frog, because the snake would eat a frog, I assume. And then we've got butterfly opposite the spider, because the spider would catch the butterfly. So, let's put the snake painting in. See if this works. Something's happening. Yeah, look at that. The paintings are going up, and hopefully we're going to get access to whatever is in this box. Did he make these puzzles to mess with me? I'm sure. It's just Resident Evil, Rose. It's just how it works. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So yeah, we've got the uh, Triocular Key. The Triocular Emblem begets glory. Okay. Well, I think we can probably use this key to get our shotgun now. That's my hunch. So we'll go back downstairs and try and get the shotgun. And also, there's another door that we can go through with the triocular key. But I can't remember where exactly it was. I think it's just off the courtyard somewhere, perhaps. But either way, let's go and get the shotgun first. This should work. Yes! Gimme, gimme, gimme that shotgun. My favourite weapon. 
take the key back and shotgun. Look at that. This should make things easier. It should, but we've only got three bullets for it currently. So I'm actually going to switch back to the pistol for now. So you can see there's actually, yeah, the triocular key goes in this door here, which is off the main courtyard. So we need to come out of here, go left, clear the blockage against that door, and then that is where we use the key. So hopefully the big boy isn't here, but it sounds like he is. Oh man, I'm going to have to use this. Stun that guy. Get past. Get this to go. Come on. Faster. Yes. Faster, 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 faster. He's just hit us. Ah. Look at him. Oh my god. All right, we made it. We made it. We made it. Let's go through the door. Try to kill a key use. We unlocked it. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay. Out of a frying pan into the fire by the look of it. Can we destroy this stuff? Surely we can, right? We just need to find the source of all the goop and mold. Looks like there's something there we can hit. We just need to get the right angle on it. I'll try going around this way, guys. Is that the last mask? Hopefully. There we go. I'll get rid of it. Oh, it hasn't, but it's dropped something, so we can make a little path across now. Okay, 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 okay. Back up. Back up, guys. Um, what we'll do... We'll shoot these guys. In fact, guys, what I'm going to do is get the pipe bomb, and I'm going to roll it to them. Have some of that. Come on, that was good. Destroyed all of them with a pipe bomb in one. So we need to find the next core now, which is just here. Hopefully it doesn't spawn even more of them when this happens. So that's just caused that stuff to break down. We still can't get across. Okay. So let's head back. We might need to go upstairs for this one, I think. I can hear something. Something snarling at us. I don't like it. We'll go upstairs. We'll go upstairs and we'll see if we can hit any more cores. Just like this. Oh, okay. Two more. We're going to have to shoot these guys. Wow. Get back. Rose, run. I'm going to use the shotgun. Here. That got him in one. That's a good shotgun. Okay. No sweats. Easy as can be. So that drops that. We should be able to make our way all the way across to the mask now. We've also got some stuff in here. Let's blast this. Free that part. Shotgun ammo. Nice. Let's reload. Now hopefully we can get the mask. So let's head all the way downstairs. And across our little makeshift bridge. And there we go. Gold mask acquired. Easy peasy. <sighs> Looks like her powers are playing up. What now? Oh no. The executioner. The hound or whatever it's called. Wait a second. Oh no, he's put us in a cell. Our fate is going to be the same as the other roses right now. Where am I? Rise and shine, little one. What a shame. You were but a hop, a skip, and a jump away from claiming your crystalline prize. I knew the real rose would be so much more lively. It would be a shame to snuff you out so unceremoniously. Shall we prolong our fun a little longer? Oh, come sure. now, don't Let's do it. Out. I've prepared a nice little diversion for you. What so the heck? So many Sclerotia. Nearly all of them are counterfeit. 
Do you think you can suss out the real one? What? There's so many, though. How are we meant to do this? Time is running out. What the heck? How do we know? Is it meant to be some kind of like indication? Um, okay, I'm just gonna try. I'm just gonna try, guys. We got one. Nice. <laughs> we actually hit right one first time. Nice work. There's the mysterious voice again. Or the mysterious words again, I should say, which we believe might be Ethan. Next one. Broken wall. Okay. Deep shadow. <gasps> this one. Let's do it. Oh no! Go back, go back, move! Ah! I should have whipped out the shotgun then. We have the shotgun for a reason, you know. Boom. Right, we got him. I'm gonna try the big one, guys. Still not done. It did. It works. It works. Look, it's got rid of a wall. Are you ready for the grand finale? Yes. Go on, then. Hit us with the last one. Hurry. Okay. Follow my words. Here and up. Here and up. This one? We got it wrong. Oh, the top one. The big one in the middle, right? Yes. So you do kind of get a little indication for each one. Thank God that's over. Because that one did look different. And it looked like our little friend here was helping us through there. You did it! Yay! We did it! Little dance. Da, da, da. Oh, we can't do a dance. She's standing still. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you. All you. I was hoping for a pony, but I guess this'll do. Yeah? Good 16th birthday present. <laughs> and gun ammo and a shotgun ammo. Nice. Okay, well, it looks like the voice helped us through another challenge. Now we can head deeper into the castle. It seems like we're back in the basement where all the cells are, though. Look at all these torture instruments. Not a place we want to hang about in for too long. We've got somebody that wasn't so lucky down there. Alright, let's try and get out of here. Ooh, we've got someone, we've got someone. You know what? I've got lots of ammo, so it's your unlucky day. He just goes, Whoa. Right, he's out of commission now. Hey, I think we've made our way. Wait, is this the village or is this the castle? I can't tell. We've got lots of shotgun ammo as well now, which is good. I wonder if we're in the village now. No, we're in the castle. I know where we are in the castle. I'm not gonna fight you, my friend. I'm just gonna move around. We're gonna go back and we're gonna put the mask in the slot. Because I think we still have a mask. Or at least I hope we do. Almost time. Yeah. I can finally get rid of these powers. But I have to admit, I lived with them for so long. It's kind of weird to let them go. Be careful. Yeah, I, I have a feeling it's not going to be this easy. I, I have a feeling something's going to happen when we get that crystal, you know? This could be a trap, of course. We don't know this is going to work. But let's just put the mask in and see what happens. There we go. All of the flames are lit. So the crystal should be ours now. Nice! How did he appear? Like, well where did he come done, from? Little one. You've more than earned this reward. Because you're going to hear that guy come into a room, let's be honest. Almost looks like the real thing, doesn't it? Oh what? no, I, I told you guys it was a trap, right? It's a replica, of course. Nothing that valuable could ever manifest on this stratum. <laughs> did you really think I'd give away something so precious? I had to bait the trap with something. No, we called no, it. No. <laughs> Imagine if that was the end. <laughs> and then the credits just roll now. She's okay. Well, relatively speaking, it seems. 
Looks like we're in the new location now though, like we've been taken from the castle, transported outside of it. <laughs> now comes the real fun. The perfect place for your demise. <laughs> Let the show begin! What? No, it's gonna be like a boss gauntlet. Defeat the enemy. Okay, wait guys, I'm gonna actually take this. Because now we've got some magic power. Oh, oh, I, I see. We have to hit it, and then we have to shoot its middle. Okay. Whoa, okay. We need to run. Wow, okay, that was close. That was very close. Wait, what's this? Anything? First aid. Nice. Whoa. Oh my god, he's walking slowly towards us. Okay, run. I don't know why I sounded so scared about that, but I hate it when stuff just advances towards you like that. It's scary. Right, let's hit, hit him again, right? Then we get a chance to shoot him. Nice. We got him. We did it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Did I do it? Look at you. So much feistier than those others. Oh God. This is becoming They're coming for us. You know what? Time Screw it. Shake things up. Oh, I didn't realize how to reload it. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Get out of my way. Screw this. All right, I'm gonna have to use a health pack, I think. We're gonna run. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Shotgun ammo, nice. Wait, can we... I think we have to defeat him again. Yeah, we have to defeat him again, but this time we actually have to... defeat him while there's less space to maneuver. Wow, okay, he is pretty deadly. We've got to shoot him on the leg now. I admire your tenacity. Futile, is it? We're gonna get him, guys. We're gonna get him. And we got him. Shoot his leg. Shoot his leg. Shoot his leg. All right, now run, because he's throwing a tantrum again. <laughs> he is throwing an absolute tantrum. Shoot his leg. Come on. Can I get it? We got it. We did him again. I think he's down. Now what do we do? Is there anything we can do? Yeah, you gotta find a way to do some real damage. How are we gonna do that? He's not happy. Duke is not happy. There's one there. Don't let her get away with that! Oh my god, he let them out. You call this a show? Right, I need Ooh! Take this. A flask, guys. We've got a new flask. Okay, does this give us a new power? I think so. What what's what power does it give us? Let's try and use it on him. Yes, we froze him. Okay, go round the back. Shoot his back. One, two, three. Nice. Now we run. Now we go. Come on, big boy. Oh my god, he can actually go into the ground now. He can teleport. Yep. Holy crap. You know what? Screw you, man. You're going down. Nice. <laughs> That's actually quite a cool finisher. Went behind him. Boom. You're a disappointment to your mother. No matter. Your imminent demise is inevitable. What's happening now? Run. Yeah, run. We better we better go. We better go. Let's go. But where? where? Yeah, where? Here. Ooh, through the hole in the wall. That is a big jump, though. Let's go for it. We gotta go! So now we're falling through her mind again, it seems. 
We're sort of going deeper and deeper into the consciousness of this thing. That was a cool boss fight, though. I liked that. That was pretty badass. Where are we now, though? Where am I now? We're outside the Dollmaker house. I remember this area. A deeper stratum. Stratum? Yes. Deeper you go, harder to escape. So we've had to go deeper in, which is going to mean it's harder to get out, but we had to do it to escape. I don't want to leave. Not until I find that crystal. I'm tired of being a freak. I want to have friends. I want to live a normal life. Without this... curse. If that purifying crystal can make that happen, make me normal, then I'm not going back until I find it. Stubborn. <laughs> yeah, so? I really think this must be Ethan Wright, and he's kind of watching over his daughter. It's kind of a sweet relationship they've got. All right, then. But this looks like we're outside the Dollmaker house, guys, and I really hated this part of the game. Well, I loved it, because it was amazingly creepy, but it was also, like, super scary. So if we have to meet the Dollmaker again and see all those giant dolls, like, man, that is going to be horrible. Got a little teddy bear here. Says, I know where the crystal is. What's this? That's kind of the cutest thing we've seen in the game yet, you know? It's the only thing that hasn't wanted to kill us so far. There's a little teddy bear. Oh no. We've got witchcraft afoot. By the look of it. Will you be my friend? No. Hell to the no. I'll just politely decline that invitation. Look at this place. Yeah, and there is Donna's resting place. Let's play. I'd rather not. I swear I've seen these monkeys before, but what the hell? Maybe from her childhood, right? Because, of course, Chris watched over her, Chris Redfield, so maybe he gave her little monkey toys when she was a kid, and she's, like, recalling them. But we've got to go up the elevator to the spooky house on the hill, which will be Donna's house. And... Yeah, this was always the scariest part of Resident Evil Village, guys, so I'm not looking forward to it too much. <laughs> What's wrong? Okay... What? What the heck? Something seems different. Yeah, the elevator seems more modern now, doesn't it? Welcome, Rose. Okay, this is weird. Yeah, this is kind of cute, but creepy at the same time. We've also got a notebook here, so let's read this. January 5th. Today was my first day of school. I've always wanted to go. I'm going to give Chris a big hug next time I see him. So this is obviously from Rose when Chris, her surrogate father, was looking after her as a kid. There were so many kids my age. It was like I walked into a TV show or something. I was so scared when I had to introduce myself to the class, but I was still super duper excited to be there. I'm going to make so many friends. I'm going to try and talk to them tomorrow. January 8th. I tried to be brave and talk to some other kids, but no one wants to talk to me. Schoolwork is super easy. It's all stuff I learned with mommy. But I guess I shouldn't answer all the teacher's questions. The boy behind me said something really mean. My hands go icky with white sweat when I panic. It was really bad today. February 10th. Today the teacher yelled at me for always carrying my hanky. She says I'm not a baby anymore. The boys at school kept saying I'm icky, but I have taken a bath every night. I always wear clean clothes, and I bring a fresh hanky every day. It's because of that stupid white sweat. Whenever it starts coming out of my hands, I wipe it off right away but sometimes it won't wipe off, so I just hold my hanky really tight. Chris even told the teacher it can't get anyone sick, but it didn't change anything. April 4th. Someone finally talked to me. Lucy from my class said she wanted to be friends. We're going to have lunch together tomorrow. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. I hope Lucy's friend Catherine will be my friend too. This is... Hmm. So she was making some friends by the look of it, but who knows if they were actually intending to be friends with her or if it was like a setup. Because kids can be cruel. 
We need some kind of sigil for this, like, um, you know, some kind of thing to put in this indent. Looks like a baby. So we'll remember that. This is so spooky. Examine. Why is there a picture of me? It is odd. That's for sure. <laughs> for Crystal! The crystal's right there, but there's no way to get it. Oh no. It's gonna be dolls, isn't it? Hey, my stuff! Oh no, our guns! Guys, we haven't got our guns. Examine. We need to cut this open with something. His stomach has been stitched up, there's something inside. Why don't you just rip it open, you know? I guess we're gonna have to find a scalpel or something. Anything in this room? Look at all these dolls. Yeah, I remember this place. It's exactly the same as it used to be. Let's turn off that water. We don't want to waste water with the price of uh, water bills going up so much recently. I guess we go through this door, maybe. Deeper into the house. There's a little drawing. Is it saying go this way? Man, this is spooky. What the heck? Where do we go? Can we go through this door? Now that is locked from the other side, so that's a shortcut door. Oh no, doll heads everywhere and creepy pictures. What's this? We need scissors to cut it open. Okay. The stuffed lock of a picture on the bookshelf, the desk covered in stuff. So these are obviously areas where we might find the scissors maybe. Stuffed locker, pictures on bookshelf, desk covered in stuff. Alright. Oh. We need a code, and it's six digits, so we're not going to be able to guess it, that's for sure. Okay, I guess we just... Oh, stuff locker, maybe it's this. Oh, oh, two. Oh, no. We can't get out. So, O2 is one of the codes we need. He said the stuffed locker first, so maybe put O2 in first. And then... The bookshelf, a picture on the bookshelf, so we examine this. 44. There we go, just pop that in. Nice. And now, the desk is the final one. A cluttered desk. Oh, it's this one. This is the cluttered desk, so whereabouts on the desk? Oh, underneath, 66. Done. Hey presto, we got scissors. So now, we should be able to go back and cut open... Oh, we can't actually go that way. And something just smashed as well. I'm just gonna run back this way. We should be able to cut open the teddy bear now. Oh what the hell? my god. Okay, that is weird. That is spoopy for sure. We got spoopiness happening. Just a mannequin hand dropping from the ceiling, nothing to worry about. Absolutely normal. Right, let's cut this little fella open. Sorry about this. But I have to do it. For the good of the story. Ah, oh, there we go. We got the little uh, relief that we were looking for. Alright, I didn't realise it was such a big deal. I thought it was just a teddy bear. Oh no. Uh, you know how to play with dolls, don't you? Okay. Again? What now? Our surroundings have changed once more. We need... Ah, oh, we need to put in four dolls. By the look of it. The first one named Lucy. Maybe you'll get the crystal once you get that campfire started. Wait, wasn't her friend at school called Lucy? I think it was Lucy and then Catherine, wasn't it? Let's have a look at this one. The label's completely illegible. Okay. We've got another note over here, though. 
I bet you can find all kinds of places to play with a doll and her friends. So this is the Lucy doll, so we need to put the Lucy doll here. There we go. Yeah, Lucy is holding... It looks like a stick ready to light the campfire. I assume the girl in the middle is meant to be Rose kind of like tied up above the campfire. We go this way now? We need to find the other dolls somehow. Jimmy's room. Oh, that doesn't sound nice. I don't know if I want to see Jimmy, you know? Can we go back where we started and put the relief into that Someone door now? really went all out. Yeah, we can. Good. So, let's get rid of this. Put the relief of the child in there. And locked it. Nice. Okay, good. And now we've got... Oh, look. Some dolls. Doll pose 2. What the heck? No one wants to be her friend. What a loser. Yeah, this is definitely recalling what happened to Rose, I think. I don't know if we're meant to, like, put the different characters in this room as well. Okay, let's head back. We've got the doll. Well, doll- Oh! Hello? We come in peace. Please don't attack us. That is weird. I'm just gonna, like, keep my eye on you as I walk back. Alright, let's go. So now we just need to find two more dolls. But again, I just don't know where we'd find them. Maybe we can go this way again? So you want me to play with dolls? Oh, unless... We have to put them on d these different boards. And then the last one is the one in here. So maybe we take the dolls for now. So we take that one. We take that one. And we have to pose them on the different little sets throughout the level, so that would mean we put Lucy down here, which is this one, and then Catherine, which was her other friend in quotations, can go here. This might open up something. Yeah, look, they bullied her, they were horrible to her at school. But that gives yeah, us a yeah, key. I get it. Fuck. Jimmy's key? No, I don't want Jimmy's key. We need to clean that gross mold off her. Yeah, that's why they were doing it. They were trying to like clean the mold off her, being like really mean to her. Poor Rose. She's a survivor, that's for sure. Let's go through Jimmy's room next. Let's unlock it. I'm a bit nervous about this. So I feel like it's probably not going to be a good time down here. Yep, this is not nice. Let's buckle up. Prepare for anything, guys. Prepare for anything. Okay, have we still got our powers? Surely we have, right? Yes, at least we've got our powers still. No, we have to go into the well. Little Jimmy fell down the well. <laughs> oh, no. Lovely. The cackling of dolls on the radio. Let's just climb down. I don't like how we can't look down either. I don't know what's down here at all. Oh, doll pose three. A clown doll. God, Another one of my so fears, creepy. great. You got that right, Rose. This is very, very creepy. I think we can maybe go back to the other set now. Why are you appearing everywhere? Stay. Maybe it's friendly. Maybe it comes in peace, right? Just a stupid mannequin. Nothing uh, Nothing can happen to us. Let's go back this way. Oh, goodness me. Look at this, guys. We've got literally, like, weird drawings all over all the walls now. This place is just becoming more and more crazy with every step we take through it. Let's go back into this room. And we need to place the dolls down, so I think maybe put down this one here because it's holding the present. It's got its arms out. Then we put down the Catherine doll here 
yeah, put down the Catherine doll here. Pointing. And then the Lucy doll would go at the top, about to drop a bucket of water on her head. Because look, they were giving her a present, but really they were trying to drop some water on her head. So, put that there. It should work. We got the final doll. That's it. Puzzle solved. So let's collect all these up. And let's get the heck out of here. Anyone else outside? Nope. We are actually okay this time. We're actually alright. So far, so good. Oh my god. I knew something like that was going to happen. It still got me. Screw you, game. Playing on my worst fear here. So Lucy doll goes here, right? Um, which is this one. Then, round here we need to put, I think, the Catherine doll. Which would be... This one. Yeah, she holds that. This one, we put the little clown doll. Which I guess is Jimmy, maybe? He's holding the firewood. And then this one would be the black haired doll. And this should work, I think. Yeah, although this is very morbid. Seriously. Fuck you. We got the key. Look at this. The breaker box key. No. Pick up the phone? I guess we have no choice. Jeez, bros, you're still looking for the crystal? Fine, I'll help you out. Just take the elevator to me. Mommy might be upset that I'm helping you, though. Who are you? It's interesting we haven't seen, like, our little friend writing in here either, isn't it? Like, any of the little secret messages on the walls? It's almost like they can't penetrate this low down into the depths of the consciousness. Let's play statues. No, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I'm just gonna go back to the breaker box at the elevator and get the heck out of here. Just gotta remember the way back. Here. Right, examine. Breaker box key. Use. What do we have here? We've got a map. Fuse map. It's in the bedroom. Don't look away. Oh my god. Okay, we got to go through there. Just saved the game. We're going to head in. Why is its eyes glowing? Come on, man. Wait a second. It just moved towards us. Does it move when I don't look at it? I think it does. I guess we just go this way. Keeping an eye on you. Wait, what? No, I can hear it walking towards us. That's horrible. I don't like this. Guys, I don't like this. Look, it keeps moving towards us. Run, 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 run. Alright, this is probably one of the most horrible sections of any game I've played. I'm not even joking. Where do I go? Do, is it this way? I don't even know where I'm going. I think this is the right way. I think this is the right way. Through the kitchen, right? Oh man, I don't know. I think we have to hit this. You stay there, please. Thank you. You just stay there. It's, I hate how it keeps moving, Matt. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Um, this way, this way, this way. We're in the bedroom. This is where we want it to be. Okay. Stay there. It's trying to get in. Quick. Fuse, fuse, fuse. We got the fuse. No. Jesus Christ. It's in. How are we going to... How are we going to get out? We're going to have to try and find a way to make the doll come around this way. And then, 
skirt around her somehow? We can't blast it, can we? No. Alright, let's look away for a second. Look away for a bit more. Bit more. Ah. Alright, stay. 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 Good. This is working, guys. This is working. This is good. Oh my god, there's two. There's freaking two. No! Oh my god. Alright, this is actually horrible. Um, it, It's cool. I'm just gonna back up this way. I'm gonna back up this way. If there's one behind me now, I'm gonna absolutely cry. I'm just gonna cry. <laughs> um, Alright, you stay there, girls. And uh, we're just gonna head through here. I don't like this voice. Oh! What the hell? Is that one gonna move? Is that one gonna move? I hate how I have to back up and I don't know what's behind me. I'm just backing slowly up. I'm just backing slowly up, guys. This is literally one of the most... There's another. This is literally one of the most terrifying things ever. No. 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 Oh, God. We made it. 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 Can I go this way? Fuse? Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. We made it. That was absolutely the worst. Will this thing work? <laughs> that was just the worst. That's all I can describe it as. Okay. We're good. Why aren't you doing this? You're after the crystal, aren't you? Do you know where it is? <laughs> I've gathered some friends just for you. Entertain them. And maybe I'll tell. Friends. We just entertained your friends. There was like four of them. No. Why more dolls? What's going on here? Why more dolls? And they're huge as well. Look at the size of these things. Poor little Rose. I'm waiting for you in the back bedroom. <laughs> Look at the size of this typewriter. Examine the note. Let's play hide and seek. Can you make it all the way out of here without getting caught? So this is a stealth section. I'm really bad at stealth. So this might be kind of uh, one of those frustrating segments for me. I don't know. No, what the hell is that? They've got like, like little knives coming out their backs. All right, we're gonna have to be careful here, guys. We're gonna have to lay low, make our way through this area, nice and slowly. Look, we've got a spotlight over there. All right, the doll. The doll is moving. So we gotta, I, I think, follow behind it, right? Yeah, we follow behind it. And when it turns, we go through that little entrance way. I think this is gonna work. Yes. I guess I should keep heading this way. I would say that's a good assessment there, Rose. We'll just go this way. And try and stay out of the way of these spotlights. We need to get rid of all of the cores. Oh god. Wow. We that was very close. Man. Oh. oh, okay. We don't want to. No, 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 no. Oh my god. It got us. It got us, guys. What the heck? We hide under here? So, they don't instant kill us, which is good. There's one right there, and she kind of goes this way. All right. I'm going to wait until she's gone past again, and then we'll go. Right, go. What the hell? How did you find me? How did you find me then? So they actually disappear once you uh, get spotted by them. Which is good. Like, to be fair. 
Because this would be very hard if it was like insta death, you know? Right, now we sneak. I'm gonna run. Now let's get this. Can she even see us? I don't think she can. I think we just can hit this. It worked. Okay. So we've cleared one of the blockages there. So we can just drop down again now. I'm glad this isn't like an instant death thing. Um, that's kind of what I was worried about, guys, because if it had been, it would be like super hard, this section. Uh, you're so stubborn. Well, there's still plenty of friends waiting. We need to get rid of this. Did you hear that? Oh no, yeah. we've uh, alerted them. What are they attacking? Just like cage full of like dolls? Maybe we just sneak past them while they're attacking that. Don't mind us, we're just coming through here. That's right. See you later. There's loads of dolls over there. If they see me, I'm toast. There's gotta be something I can do. Yeah, this is like an insta-death section by the look of it. What can we do here, though? Oh, there's one here, look. Oh, I think what we have to do, guys, is hide. Shoot this. And then just kind of, like, hide here. And they'll come and get that cage, and then we can get past. Run. Go, go, go. Sorry, I can't save you, little doll in a cage, but we've got to go. Alright, we made it through to the next section. We've got to drop that cage there. So, yeah, look how many there are. Can they spot us through this? I don't think so. We should be okay so far. We just got to hit that. I can't reach it. Are you kidding me? I'm so close. Uh, there's two actually. There's one there and then there's one there. That controls the exit. That controls that cage. Okay. I'm gonna drop down. Just have to get past them. Okay, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Oh! Please don't come this way. Do not come this way. That's right. Oh my goodness! Which way is she going? Ah. That was close. No, there's one there though. If they come this way now, we're screwed. How are we meant to do this? We need to get over to that. Okay, we made it, we made it. I don't know where we're going though, this is a problem. We need to hit that flower up there somehow. We can go under the desk over here. No. How did we not get spotted then? I don't know, but we didn't for whatever reason. Blast this now. Okay, now once that cage drops, we run. They've gone. Okay, let's go. Run, 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 run. And now we have to shoot this one. Don't mind us, ladies. We're just uh, going to escape. That's right. We made it. Oh, no. Somebody's coming in. What the heck? You know what happens to oh, God. Girls who can't play nice, don't you? They Wait. Get punished. Do we have to, like, stare at this one, or do we sneak around it? I feel like this one we just sneak around. Yeah, look at it. The size of that thing. Man, I do not like this. Please do not look under here. It's like the iron giant or the wooden giant. There it goes. Okay, sneak. Sneak like a little mouse in the house. Now run. Run! Go. Go, Rose. Oh, we've actually got magic again. So we can now freeze them if we need to. Ah! 
Yes, we froze her. Now let's go. Nicely played. Nicely played. So we're getting our powers back. If only we had the shotgun, we could just blast these things into splinters, you know? Okay, okay. Now we sneak around. Like this. I don't want to waste my magic unless I need to you know, absolutely use it. Go. Sweet. Okay, so where is the next little bulb? Can't see it. We have to sneak through the kitchen. The bedroom is just over there. Good. We just need to get to the other side of this. I might have to blast this one. Yeah, there we go. Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay. Just chill. Everybody chill. Everybody chill. If she comes this way, we die. If she goes around the long way, we could be okay. It's okay. You just chill out. You go that way. It's nice. Okay, let's destroy this. You quick, yourself. quick, quick, quick. I'm going back. I'm going back through here. <laughs> run, run, run. Yeah, look, we've made passageway this way now. Hopefully this collapses soon. A bit faster, please. Yes. Nice. Okay, we made it, guys. We made it. Through into this room next. All right, that's <gasps> not nice. <laughs> that isn't nice at all. Why do I have to be so big? Hey! She has those creepy powers. What? Just like your dad. That's why she doesn't have any friends. Shut up! You know it's true. Shut what up, stupid dolls. Isn't she afraid? Look at her. No. Afraid of what she might turn into. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> oh, look at the one at the top. I hate that one that's kind of like the mannequin figure, you know? That's the worst one. She's coming for us. We've got to run. We've got to run. Let's go. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, we've got to go. Oh, okay. Giant heads. Giant doll heads. Perfectly normal. Not nightmare fuel at all. Ah. Go, go, go. Oh, we need to find... It's up there, it's up there. Destroy it. Go, go, go. Quick. Faster, 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 faster. I don't want to be friends with you guys, that's for sure. I'd rather have no friends. Oh, it's hit. he's back. Finally, I found you, let's go. Nice. Took care of it for us. Our guardian angel. I can't take much more of this. Me neither. Why My nerves are shot right now dad? after all those dolls. I never even met him. Do you resent him? No. I don't know. I don't know the first thing about him. I feel like he's with you right now, Rose. I wish I did. All I know is he died protecting me. Sometimes, I try to imagine what my life would have been like if he hadn't died. But he taught me to ride a bike, helped me with my homework, read me a story every night. Would he have been there for me, proud of me? Sometimes, when I feel lost or afraid, I try to imagine what he might have said to me. Come. I have something you should see. This has got to be Ethan, right? It would be the biggest... I don't know. It would be... It's setting up expectations at this point. Where are we? You're safe here. It feels... familiar. Like... 
I've been here before. It's her original home, isn't it? But we see at the start of Village, where Ethan and Mia live together. Look at all the decorations. This is a much nicer setting Some than that doll's party? house. That's for sure. <sighs> to do, decorate the living room. Done. Get wine and put in the dining room. Yep. Rose's other present in the study. Hidden. Nice. This must have been like her first birthday or something. Because I think Ethan died after like Rose's first birthday, if I remember correctly. She just cannot get enough of this stuff. What's that voice? Is that... Dad? I reckon so. This must be my parents' house from when I was a baby. I bet other things also have my dad's memories. Like this wine. She's so little. <laughs> Hard to believe one day she'll be old enough to share a bottle of wine with her old man. So dad was a wine drinker. This is kind of sweet, you know, this is kind of like heartwarming, this section. Especially after that dollhouse, you know, the dollhouse was like the worst part. <laughs> It was so scary. And now this is kind of chill. Oh, look at this. I'm so lucky to have you both in my life. Dad. What's this? Take your time and look around. I'm not doing so. You know, I'm having a nice look around. We're poking about. Look at this. <laughs> Rose is such a picky eater. All she ever wants is fruit puree. I guess I've always loved fruit. Nothing wrong with that. Bit of fruit. Delicious. Okay, let's go upstairs. What's this say? Don't forget to look upstairs. Upstairs? I'll take a look. Yeah, let's go upstairs. Was this the bathroom? Yeah, I remembered. It's been so long since I played this, but I do remember the layout of the house still. Doesn't look like there's much in there, though. There's a little music box over here. Can we turn this? This tune has always been special for our family. I think I've heard this before. It's pretty. There you go, that's kind of nice. Let's check down here. Ooh, got something here, note. Ethan, don't forget Rose's half birthday is on the second. I'm going to make an amazing cake, so you better eat it. In fact, I'm going to make a cake for every special occasion we have. I want you to take lots of pictures for our family album. I haven't seen Mom in ages. That must have been from Mia. Still don't have our weapons back, by the way. Oh, we can open the closet. There's a present! I, I know. She's probably a little too young for this. But it was too cute. I wonder how we played with this. That's going to be the monkey thing, isn't it, that we found, surely, right? Can I open it? No. I reckon that's the little monkey that we had to cut open in the house. The little doll. And that's why she remembers it. Let's go this way. I think this was Rose's room, if I remember correctly. Can I look at these? Nope. This is... my bedroom? Her crib? <sighs> She's growing so fast. Getting bigger every day. This crib is so little. It's not that small. She's already growing out of these onesies? I can't believe I was ever this tiny. Let's check through here. Ooh, computer. February 2nd is Rose's half birthday. Half a year in the blink of an eye. I wanted to capture this moment, these feelings, so I wrote something special. I may have gotten a bit sappy though. I'd feel embarrassed if anyone stumbles across it, so it's safe in the sideboard for now. The key is behind my favourite photo. Okay, behind his favourite photo in the sideboard. I wonder if she'll look like me when she grows up. Oh, I looked so happy. So let's have a look. Hey, there we go. The draw key. So now, hopefully we can unlock the drawer. Where is the drawer here? What are we going to find? A little letter by the look of it. A letter for me? Happy half birthday, Rose. My gift to you is a promise. I'll always be there for you. No matter what. 
I'll be there every birthday to watch you blow out the candles on your cake. I'll be there to make you breakfast and walk you to school every day. I'll be there when you have a bad dream and sing to you until you fall back asleep. I'll hug you tight when you're troubled or worried and tell you that everything's gonna be all right. You are my precious Rose. Never forget that, Dad. Oh. Oh no! What? No. How is Evelyn in this game? How is she back? She must be part of us still, right? Prove a me to my seat. That's kind of a twist. I wasn't expecting that to see Evelyn back. But we've been torn <laughs> from our kind of safe little world there and put back in this creepy what? consciousness again. Isn't here. <laughs> so you don't have the purifying crystal? <laughs> of course not. Wait, are we in the house from seven now? I feel like we're in the house from seven, guys. For that, the uh, Baker family house. You'll have to go deeper. Much deeper. Poor Rose. <gasps> She can't trust anyone. <laughs> Why are you doing this? No one loves you. And when you're dead, no one will care! <laughs> All right, calm down, you know? You got a bit over the top there. Oh God, escape now the house. You'll drown. I need to get out of this house. I came first. Oh god, okay. First. Run, run, run. This way? Why does she there. only want you? Destroy it, destroy it, destroy it, destroy what it, destroy are it. You talking about? Right, which way do we go now? Back? Back this way, I think. Look at you! Whoa! You are beyond worthless! Alright, calm down, Evelyn. Seriously, Chill out. what is your problem? Run. We need to go through the door up here. We can't go this way. Oh, okay. Uh, which way do we go now? This way? Yep. And through here. We've got the Winter Sage. Nice. Just so greedy. What do we do? Guys, I don't know what to do. Oh, we've got dolls. Can we hit them? Yeah, we destroy so them. Friends, and it's never enough. Oh, we're still in the dollhouse, actually. We're not in the baker house. My bad. Ah, get off me. Get back, vile dolls. Okay, we've got to go through the door here, guys. We've got to run. Where do you think you're? I think I'm getting oh, the hell out of this house. No. This shit. I'm going this way. We're bursting out. We need to destroy this, that's for sure. Take care of that. Take care of this. Now we go this way. Go, go, go. We're almost there, guys. The elevator. Chance. They were supposed to die and join me here. Let's go. What? Ooh, look, Ethan to the rescue, right? Stop it! How are you even here? He's like, I've already defeated you once. Right now, let's go. Michael, hurry. Yeah, that ain't no Michael, I don't think. Let's get out of here. We made it. That was actually an intense sequence. Be careful, he says. We're not safe yet. Evelyn's causing Evelyn. this. That little girl? I like how it ties back to the beginning of the Winter story. Like, this feels like it really is concluding the Winter saga right now. We still can't get out. We can get out, don't worry. You need to be more optimistic. Use your powers on her. I can help once she's weak. Okay? This should help. Or these should help, he said. Flask number four are oh, nice. And a medipack as well. Okay, we're on a mission. 
to get Evelyn now. Don't panic, you've got this. Yeah, we've got this. Let's do this. The final showdown. Oh, okay. Let's hide. Let's hide. Watch out for her wind blasts. Okay. Yeah, it's like the boss fight at the end of seven. Hide, hide, hide. Wait for an opening, okay? Waiting for the opening. Now. Nice, we gotta... Now use your powers. She's not done. Be careful. Okay, where is she? Oh, she's moved. She's over here. Died. We were supposed to be a family. Where is she? She keeps moving. Hit her. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. We've got to be careful here. Boom. We got her again. It feels kind of anticlimactic when we hit her with those blasts. Just keep hiding. Oh no! She's making stuff grow out. Watch your step. Okay, cool. Where is she? She's there now. If you've never been born, it would have been perfect! Ethan's not your daddy. It's ours. You're gonna have to deal with that, Evelyn. Go away! Oh, she's there now. Oh, we've got to destroy these. That's one. This is hide, hide, hide. Bad. Wow. She's putting out loads of blasts now. Just destroying this whole place. All right, let's get rid of this one. We can go up the stairs next, I think. Just gotta hide. I was special. We've got our opening. Now we go. Now we go. You're worthless. Nothing. A, a freak with no friends. You have me. Yeah, that's right. We've got each other. Oh, okay, that was bad. Now hit her. No, she's moved. Can I hit her now? Nope. It's really hard to get her at this stage. Can I hit her now, though? Maybe? No. Yes, I think we've got her. That's right. <laughs> Screw you, Evelyn. I kind of feel sorry for her a little bit after all the stuff that <laughs> happened to her. But... useless I am. <laughs> no wonder no one loves me. Don't fall for it, Rose. Back this is all your fault! And I will never let you have what you want! Rose, look out! Oh! He came. He actually came out. Ethan actually, like, saved us. Don't give up, Rose. Find that crystal. It's def- yeah, we know it's definitely Ethan talking to us now, if it wasn't already clear. That's cool. This story is actually, like, pretty awesome. So we're going even deeper into the consciousness of a Megamycete now. Ooh. So this has got to be, like, the final... Michael? Gauntlet, hasn't it? How does she still not get that it isn't actually Michael? <laughs> I don't understand. Rose, look out! He... He saved me. But he didn't make it. That voice... My dad's voice... Is Michael... My dad? The light bulb has clicked. Don't give up, Rose. Find that crystal. Because of him, I can keep going. I have to find that crystal. Yeah, we've got to keep going. Look at this typewriter just in the middle of nowhere. I'm on my own, but I have to keep going. Right, we've had a little save. So which way do we go? Just up, I guess? Head up this little mountain path. I'm glad we're out of the dollhouse now. The dollhouse was like the freakiest part. The door is just What's laying all here. Doing out here. Yeah, it's almost like the castle's been like blown apart, isn't it? Hey. Wait, do we have our weapons back? Yeah, we got weapons back. Sweet. So good. I want shotgun ammo, not handgun ammo. A handgun is pretty weak in this game. 
Abyss. Wow. Who am I? That is impressive. What is this place? That is quite the sight. So we've got the castle there. Look at this giant, like, spore here. Well, I can't remember what it's called. It's like a sclerotia or something. What is that? I can sense something from over there. Head for the giant core. Yeah, we've got to get to that core then. So we've got to go through the village, it seems. I hope we don't have to encounter any of those werewolf things. I always hated those. They're really scary. Ooh, there's another rose. This one looks like us. What? Heading into the village now, guys. Just like in the castle. We'll follow Rose and see where she leads us. <laughs> oh, okay. What the heck? We got like deformed versions of a of our Rose. Oh, nice. But we actually just hit them all down. I'm even stronger than before. Yep, pretty good. Just navigate around them. Can I not, like, just run past you, please? Thank you. Appreciate it. Don't want to fight all of those. Waste all our ammo, do we? What's this? Oh, we've got shotgun ammo now. Nice. I'm going to blast them. Don't need to fight them all. Just keep blasting them. Follow Rose. Let's go. I'm just going to run. Oh, okay. Okay, shoot them. There we go, we got them. Now we should have time to do this. Yes, we got it. Just in time as well. Just in time. We have to head down into the depths I need to find that of the Mega My Seat. This is the same path that Ethan took, of course, in Village as he headed through these caves and got to the lab at the bottom. Search for cave. You got it. Ugh, look at that thing. Is that the Mega My Seat? Must be. It's all like pulsating. Is this it's birthing crazy little roses. <laughs> That's so weird. That's where the clones are coming from then. Look, we can actually see. We've got clones all around. Little roses incubating. And we got a save point. Someone's been here. What is this? Shotgun ammo. Wow, we've got 10 shotgun bullets. You know a boss fight's coming, right? So we've got a note here. I have been experimenting with the possibilities of manipulating and reviving the consciousness stored within the Mega My Seat. When a person dies, their consciousness is stored and preserved, but over time, it becomes diffused and diluted, spread thin throughout the Mega My Seat, and mixed with other consciousness and memories. Extracting and reassembling an individual who has thus diffused has proved a monumental effort. As an experiment, I decided to see what would happen if I used different individuals' consciousnesses to create an entity. Results. The results were fascinating. I gathered fragments, re-spooled the threads, and succeeded in creating an individual birthed anew in this realm. A success, to be sure. But while his unusual physique resembles a man I once knew, he was possessed of a deeply warped psyche and was missing a portion of his face. Conclusion: While manipulating memories to create a person is possible, the creations are flawed and unstable. It will not be possible to manufacture a suitable vessel in this way. This is where the experiments took place. First aid. Oh, we got another note. Oh, look at that thing. I don't want to get too close to it. It would seem that at some point during my experiments with consciousness, an intruder made herself at home in my realm. This intruder was none other than the failure Evelyn, who has been running about enacting her own pitiful agenda, which has led to a slight disruption in my own plans. Had Evelyn not interfered, Rosemary Winters would have been on the verge of despair, dispossessed of her will to live and her mutamycete powers. 
Instead, a new passion burns within her. I shall have to extinguish it. So yeah, the creation of Evelyn, or the existence of Evelyn, I should say, has actually spurred Rose on. And has helped her survive. We've got another little note. Actually, this is quite a long one. The Megamycete absorbs the memories of all life within its reach, but there are laws which govern this world within it. It seems worthwhile to catalogue them as they become apparent. 1. The memories that comprise this realm do not strictly reflect reality. 2. Only those who are attuned to the Mutamycete in life retain control of their faculties here in this realm. This aligns with my understanding of the Megamycete as revealed to me in its visions before my death. Yes, my death. My physical body is gone, absorbed into the Megamycete, and yet I do not despair, for this fate has granted me fascinating insight. All those years I strived, have continued to strive, they are not for nothing. The memories, the consciousness, understanding and knowledge I accumulated in life have transferred here to the Megamycete, where it serves as a source of power within this realm. If I can harness this power, I believe I can use it to affect the thoughts and memories of others. Of course, it's hardly a perfect arrangement, with so many minds and memories gathered here, finding and retrieving a single person from the mist for Rabble has proven an immense challenge. Her memories are here, yes, but dissolute. Perhaps what is needed is the right vessel into which to hold her. And of course, I know the perfect vessel. The only real candidate in all of my years of searching, Rosemary Winters. Okay, interesting. We're learning why this has come to be. Is this another note? It is. I intend to duplicate Rosemary Winters with the hope that a perfect replica may serve as a suitable vessel. However, the results were less than ideal. It would seem that some sort of interference is preventing me from creating a suitable replica. Instead, I have succeeded in making what is essentially a living doll. It resembles the real thing, yes, but has no power. Such a pathetic husk could never prove suitable as a vessel. I will continue my efforts in hope of discerning the source of this interference. Several hypotheses have come to mind thus far. 1. The fact that Rose herself is still alive. 2. Some other actor within this realm. And 3. A flaw in my methods of production. None of these seem especially likely to be the sole reason, nor are any of them easily problems to solve. Perhaps the best hope is to somehow bring Rose into this realm. Were she to offer herself as a vessel, it would be so simple. Additional observations. Further experiments with these rose copies, as I've taken to call these husks, have yielded another interesting wrinkle to pursue. When subjected to situations evoking extreme terror, they actually begin to express some semblance of Rose's abilities. This warrants more research, and I think my first creation, the Masked Duke, is just for one to perform this stress test. They couldn't have been watching me the entire time. I wonder if this is like Miranda talking, because she got absorbed into the Megamycete at the end, right? It's very interesting though. I'll have to see what happens. So that's all the notes, I think. Uh, just double check. Wait, we've got some more bullets actually. We'll take that. That's shotgun ammo. I almost missed nine shotgun bullets. That would have been really bad. Let's go deeper into the cave and see what we can find. Oh no, we're gonna have to wade through this water. There's that feeling again. It's so strong. It must be the crystal. I'm almost there. Michael. It's Ethan. Stop saying Michael. We know it's Ethan at this point. Okay. Here we go. This is like the final battle, right? Surely. It's through here. What is that? It's like a sacrifice or something. Is that meant to be Rose as a baby? But it's like a replica because it's got the mask on. Black God which lives in us and in which we live, create for us a new world as befits your will. Your dark consciousness holds us for a second chance, graciously offered and joyously accepted. You drink the blood of a lost lamb as it falls upon your darkened earth, not to destroy but to preserve, and once again deliver unto life. This is some twisted shit. It's definitely morbid, isn't it? Look at all of this as well. It's all crystallized. We need to make our way to the top. This one's the real deal. I, I can feel it. <sighs> the 
the journey has reached its end. We can get rid of our powers now. Although I feel like something can be said for having these powers. It's working. Imagine we lose our powers and then just have to face the final boss without them. That would be really just typical, wouldn't it? Oh my god. Is this what normal feels like? I bet that's actually happened as well. <laughs> like we've lost our powers. And this is Miranda. I knew it was going to be Miranda. She's back. <laughs> the crazy scientist. Rose, I've waited so long for you. Who... Who are you? My name is Miranda. What? You had become so powerful. Far too powerful for me to subdue directly. So, I had to lure you into this realm so that you might willingly no, but Kay said... Did he? Or did I? Yeah, she was Kay the entire time. That Kay was an illusion. Very convincing, wouldn't you say? She pulled the same trick Ooh. on Ethan, didn't she? Now you can become the vessel for my Eva! So we're gonna have to destroy her again. Like father, like daughter, right? Rose, run! There he is. We never see his face, though. They always hide Ethan's face. I don't know why. Ethan, you pest! Go! Uh, he can manifest. He can save you, Rose. No one can. Right, Rose! we gotta go. Rose, hurry! Oh, nice! We're fighting escape. together. This is sick. Not me. This is cool. Whoa, okay, run, 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 run. Go, go, go. Dad, wait, hold on. Is it really you? Yes, but right now you need to run. Run! Whoa, okay. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, we have no powers now, so we're going to have to just use weaponry. The old-fashioned way, you know? This is an awesome ending, though. I'm glad we get to team up. Let's go. We got our shotguns. That's Thanks. right. Why didn't you tell me who you really were? Why'd you let me call you Michael? I didn't want to complicate things. I just needed you safe. I miss Ethan. Ethan's a cool character. I always liked him. And I'm sorry I left you alone. But I had to find a way out. Let's go. And I did. It's just ahead. You know there's going to be a battle though, right? We've got all this ammo. We're going to have to use it at some point. Blaster! Blaster! Get away from my daughter! Nice, right in the eye. away from my family! Rose, come on! Let's go! Okay, we're safe for now. This is good. Or maybe not. Ethan, persistent as always. Dad! Rose, now's your chance. Go live a normal life. Make friends. No one will ever call you a freak again. But... Rose, just go! <laughs> He's actually wrestling her, no way. I don't want to leave you! I know. I love you. But I need to know that you're safe. So please, just... Ethan, you insolent pest! I got this. Get out of here. I don't think he's got it. I think she needs to help him. Although he's kind of already gone. I feel like she could just go now, but I don't know. Maybe his consciousness is trapped in here until she saves him. Oh no, she's going to she's gonna reclaim her powers. And she's like, oh great. Now she's got her powers back. Don't worry, Dad. I've 
You've got this. You think Let's get up. powers will allow you to stand against me in the heart of my domain? Yes. Foolish. Oh, we can dodge. Look, dodge left and right. My throwing them away? Oh, nice. Look at that. We can actually dodge her, guys. There's no shit. That's cool. So we can now dodge left and right. And then we shoot her. Okay. Let's go. Absorb oncoming projectiles with LB. What would be the point? You okay. can save your father. You are okay, that didn't work points. exactly, but maybe I got that wrong. I don't know. Okay, let's try it again. Absorb Why projectiles. There we go. We absorbed it, I think. I will not let's try and attack her now. Let's try and get her. Oh, I wasn't quick enough. This is pretty tough, actually. She moves very fast. We got her. Nice. Blaster. Wretch, little girl. Right, we're just going to move in close, and we're going to blast her now. Move out of the way. You need to make up ground quickly, though, so you can get in close enough to get her. Like, look at this. Nice, we got her. One in the head, two in the head, three shots. Boom. I'm not a wretch, you're the wretch. It took so much to lure you, but you're incredible. She's coming down. Oh, oh she's making everything dark now. She's like a fish jumping out of the water. You will fall. I like these new powers she's got, like these dodge abilities. This is really cool. No. Whoa. Nice. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We just need to stay alive for a little longer. Time is there she is. Whoa. Oh, I can't absorb those things. I don't know how we do that. But no matter how many vessels I need, none have the power to reach her. Okay, she's gonna spin down and we dodge. That's why it must be you. You are the Whoa. only one who can break. Okay, we need to heal, guys. We need to heal. Give her back. Come on. Whatever it get her, get her, get her. Whatever I must do, I will see this through. She's rhyming now. What? Come on, I hit you then. Are you kidding me? She's so hard to get, like, close to. Come on. Come on, Miranda. Be by my side. Just don't know how he absorbed those. <laughs> right, we avoided that. But where's she gone? She's jumping out. There, we got her. Boom. Take this, you old witch. You are but a vessel. That's what you get for hitting our daddy. Dodge. Whoa, okay, she's diving back into the floor now. I hate this move. Here I come. Oh, she got us. Where is she? Ah! There's no shit. Nice. Nice dodge. There she is. This is Nice. Okay, we made it. Now blaster. Got her. Boom. Bang. There we go. And again. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? You're the one that's coming after us. We're just defending ourselves. Do you still not see? There is no happy ending. Says the wicked witch at yeah. the end of her reign. That's right, Rose. You tell her. The wicked witch. We've got to get her now. Ah. Whoa, this is hard. How am I meant to avoid this? Hit her. Come on. How are we even meant to do this? Do I just have to avoid it? Blaster. How did that you not blaster? You really are. I'm gonna have to heal. That stubborn life that shines inside me 
makes you the perfect vessel. Come on, we only need a few more hits. Offer yourself unto me. Man, I need to get closer to her. It's hard. How about this? Oh, we got it. We actually grabbed it that time. What? Yeah, just as we're near the end of a fight, I've worked out how to grab them. Get her, get her, get her. Boom, yes. Don't resist. I have to. I have to resist. Yes. And again, in the head. Headshots. All the headshots. You bitch. I shall finish this. She's doing a finishing move. What's she gonna do now? There is no victory. Oh my god, can I not do anything now? Finally! My struggle. She's just spamming it. She's spamming the attack. It looks like we're outdone. Rose, over here. Dad. Use this. Take her down. He's given us the power, oh, though. It's time to finish this. Use Ethan's powers. Come on. We've got to stop Miranda. Ah, do it. Hit him. Or her, I should say. Nice. That is cool. Let's go and take her down. So much power. You truly would have been the perfect vessel for my Eva. We've got you. I'm not a goddamn vessel. Not some stupid copy. I'm me, Rose. That's right. And you're done. We got a. That was a hard fight. Oh, Ethan's on his last legs, though. Hey, sweetie. Oh my God. You're, you're so grown up now. And, and even though I wasn't there with you, I've always watched over you. I'm so sorry I couldn't protect you. You did a good job from beyond the grave. All you've ever done is protect me. No. Not this time. You lost your chance. I'm so sorry. No. It was my choice. And I don't regret it one bit. If I had left you, then we never would have had this chance to talk face to face. <laughs> so it's okay. Oh. Kind of nice. What a sweet ending. A touching ending for a Resident Evil game, that's for sure. And she's back in the lab. I'm back. Mission successful. I'm back.
Ooh, this looks like the ending to village. Wait, is the ending to village meant to have occurred after the events of the DLC? It seems like it. <laughs> Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon, it's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon feels like a cure. I think it does. <laughs> Flowers for her dad's grave. So she's decided to like embrace her powers and live with them. Because that's who she is, you know, and she doesn't want to be afraid of who she is anymore. Hey, Dad. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Looks like she's working with Chris now, Chris Redfield. She's part of a team. They could probably use those powers of hers, you know, to defeat yeah, all the BOWs and stuff. Where else? Today of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. Chill out, dude. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. Stand down. I can handle it. She's just a kid. Well, she's more mature than you, my guy. Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know. I know. I'm guessing this is the ending. It's kind of just tied it full circle into the village storyline, which is kind of cool. Like, it definitely there's Ethan in the distance, of course, always watching over her. Yeah, it's actually a sweet ending. It's actually kind of like strangely heartwarming for a Resident Evil ending. Okay guys, so I've just skipped the credits because they had a song over them and that'll probably get me uh, a copyright claim or something I imagine, so I've gone back to the menu. Just want to quickly talk about the Shadows of Rose DLC and what I thought of it. Basically, I really enjoyed it. I think the story was really cool. It definitely did what Capcom promised, where it tied up the Winter Saga and answered a few lingering questions from the storyline of Resident Evil 7 and Village. It was interesting to see the world from a different perspective as we travelled through the consciousness of the Mega My Seat. In terms of the game itself, I really enjoyed the first section of the castle, I think that was the highlight, and I loved the first section as well when we went to the dollhouse and we were trying to recreate the various sets, and then those dolls stalking us, the mannequins, that was one of the like scariest video game moments I think I've ever experienced, I was really on the edge of my seat there. Afterwards, when we went through the stealth section, I didn't enjoy that so much, I'm not a huge fan of stealth and that section really outstayed its welcome for me, so I wasn't like too keen on that bit, but then afterwards when we returned to the village, it became more actiony again and we teamed up with Ethan, that was a real highlight again and I really enjoyed that. So overall, I think this was a really great DLC, it had some highs, it had some lows, but overall it was definitely worth the wait and I really enjoyed it. and it's definitely sad to say goodbye to the Winters characters but I'm sure Rose may return in a future game because she is a good character. With that said I hope you've enjoyed my playthrough of the Shadows of Rose DLC and if you have remember to leave a like, comment down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one and I will see you all on the next one.